Don't settle for less on a gift when you can give way more for way less. The Hallmark Gold Crown Store in Pine Top goes beyond having the perfect card. Exciting new lines were just released. Bourbon Barrel Foods out of Louisville, Kentucky features gourmet sauces, nuts, and seasonings. Jack Black's Men's Superior Skincare, be manly and clean. And for ladies, pinkies up. Luxury teas, sugars, cups, and infusers. Open Monday through Saturday, the Hallmark is where smiles are made together. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo Navajo Proud. Don't settle for less on a gift when you can give way more for way less. The Hallmark Gold Crown Store in Pine Top goes beyond having the perfect card. Exciting new lines were just released. Bourbon Barrel Foods out of Louisville, Kentucky features gourmet sauces, nuts, and seasonings. Jack Black's Men's Superior Skincare, be manly and clean. And for ladies, pinkies up. Luxury teas, sugars, cups, and infusers. Open Monday through Saturday, the Hallmark is where smiles are made together. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854.
When exactness is ordered, Hatch Concrete will deliver. We provide ready-mix concrete for any size job. From the do-it-yourself project to the professional construction project, delivering a variety of aggregate to suit your concrete or construction needs from granite to cinders. Hatch Concrete is not just another ready-mix concrete company. We provide quality service, quality concrete, concrete pumping, and Fox Blocks where quality is not just a name, but a tradition. At Hatch Concrete, this mud's for you. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook, 6854. You probably already know the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass jingle, but this holiday season, that jingle means holiday cash. Now through Christmas, we are giving away $500 cash each week and $1,000 bonus cash right before Christmas. Hello, Santa. Right now, when you choose Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint for your insured windshield replacement, you can choose two delicious steak dinners at Cattleman's Steakhouse and two movie tickets to the WME Theaters or full service car washes at the KK Express Wash, or a $100 gift certificate for window tint. That's a great idea for a present from the best auto glass tinters on the mountain. And everyone's name goes in the hat for weekly winners of $500 in holiday cash. And again in the hat for the $1,000 Christmas bonus drawing. Five, three, six, five, nine,
Welcome to Northland Basketball, presented by Sports Zone Radio. Exclusive coverage of Navajo Nation and White Mountains varsity basketball online at sportszone123.com and on the Sports Zone Radio smartphone app. And now it's time for Northland Basketball. Welcome into Northland Basketball. Welcome tonight to the Warriors Pavilion at Tuba City High School. And this broadcast of Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Tonight, tonight, it's the, the hometown Tuba City Lady Warriors bringing their 6-3 and three record in to take on the Snowflake Lady Lobos. And uh, the Lobos, they check in with a... A pretty impressive 10 and 3 overall record. This is going to be a big one here. This is a, a chance to see how North and East match up against each other. And they played a lot, these two regions, already earlier in the season. But a, a great look at, at what is going to be going on in the postseason. Because I believe you're going to get your standard collection of 3A North region lady basketball teams that get into the state playoffs. And then you're also going to get you're going to get a fair share of 3A East region teams because at least three teams at the top of that region. And when I say at the top of it, I'm talking about the Sholo Lady Cougars right now, 17 and 0. The Snowflake Lobos at 10 and 3 and the Winslow Bulldogs, who are always going to be a great team. You get those three teams in the mix. You're going to have some pretty good postseason action, and they're going to join the 3A North region as the, really the two dominant regions overall in the state when the playoffs come around. This is a great, a great matchup tonight, and a good look at us, a good look for us to see how the North and East are matching up the season. Out on the court, it's time for the national anthem. We have a good crowd tonight here at the Warriors Pavilion in Tuba City, Arizona for this broadcast of Northland Basketball. It's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. And here tonight, as we get ready to roll it out, the first game of our broadcast doubleheader. The boys will follow this one. We're going to send it out there again for starting lineups being announced here courtside at Tuba City. Number 
Just about ready to tip it off and get it underway. What a night tonight in Tuba City, Arizona, and it's going to culminate for me. I'm just going to tell you right from the very beginning, and you're probably going to hear it a few times. Not that I want to make you super jealous, don't you know, but you're probably going to hear about the great Navajo Taco dinner, the meal that we get to enjoy our Sports Zone broadcast team after tonight's big game right here. We'll head to Coach Pete Butler's house here in Tuba City. And Coach Butler's wife, Celia, is going to be ready to go with the fry bread, the Navajo taco fixings, and that's how my night is going to end. Snowflake controls the opening tip, and we are underway on this broadcast of Northland basketball. Natalie Carlisle takes that opening tip and right up off the glass to open up the scoring tonight here at Tuba. It's 2-0 Snowflake in front. The girls' varsity game is now officially underway. It's Northland basketball. Presented by Choice, NTUA Wireless. Ball goes inside, and that's going to be too far under. And N Natasha Akafli in this Tuba City starting lineup, as she always is, unable to convert. Snowflake gets it across, and trouble, and a takeaway. Stolen. Here come the Lady Warriors with the pass up the floor. The shot is no good for Aubrey Begay off of Ariana Begay's steal. And then another steal. This time, that steal, that takeaway belongs to Aubrey Begay. And then finally, I believe that was Ariana Begay who is able to get the pressure points. And it's the pressure of Tuba City right here early on. I know it's just a minute into the game, but that pressure right now seems to be overwhelming Snowflake just a little bit. Natalie Carlisle out on top for the Lady Lobos. Here's Nicole Hips with the ball, and Natalie gets it back. Drops one inside, and the turnaround is up for Chloe Ulberg, and that one is going to be off the mark. Chloe missing her first chance of the game. The Lady Warriors walk the ball into front court. Kiana Susan Yadami with the basketball to the top of the key for a quick spot up three. And the attempt is good for Therese Cindy Ginny. And she's got her first points of the game. For the Lady Warriors, they jump out five to two over Snowflake early on. The Lobos scored the first two points of the game. And a couple of good answers by Tuba and some pretty serious defense applied. On the ball handler, Hadley Nichols for Snowflake gets surrounded. Aubrey Begay was right there. I believe that was Natasha Akafli there as well. With 6.06 on the clock, we get our first time out of the game. Snowflake calls that timeout. Coach Mike Brogan to settle his ladies down just a little bit. And we'll grab this 30-second timeout. A 30-second timeout, everybody. We're back in just a moment. North, more Northland basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, surf, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Somebody going to have a talk with the play-by-play -play announcer. Got us out to that timeout just a little bit late. So we missed Snowflake's possession from the timeout. I'll tell you about that here after I let you know that an offensive foul has been called on Aubrey Begay. That's Aubrey's first foul of the game. That's the first team foul on Tuba. Snowflake yet to be whistled here with 5.36 on the clock in the first quarter. And a 5-5 game because out of the timeout, Snowflake got the ball in the left corner to Kinsey Brogan. And Kinsey was able to knock down a three-pointer for Snowflake to tie the game. So a good timeout for Snowflake. And... We'll see if they have overall settled things down on offense. That pressure defense from Tuba was causing Snowflake some problems. And that uh, caused Coach Brogan to call a timeout. Got a uh, 
A couple of new ladies checking in. Lindsay Carlisle and Raya Denhalter have come in for the Lady Lobos. 5.15 on the clock here in the first quarter. Some of you listening on the Sports Zone's broadcast part of that's Mix 98 KRFM show. Hello, the broadcast home of Sports Zone Radio across the White Mountains. And we've got exactly now five minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Nice looking pass that gets tipped away. It looked good. The thought was good. Trying to find a Coughley underneath. And Snowflake got a hand on it, tipped it away, and the Lady Lobos have possession of the basketball. Up the floor and outside. And Hadley Nichols is open for the three. That's a little bit short. And the rebound comes down to Ariana Begay. Boy, Ariana just got, I think she just got away with a carry. She gets it to her teammate on the left angle for a three-point try. This time, no good for Cindy Jenny. She hit a three earlier. That one did not go in. And it's the Warriors basketball. Loose ball, Nicole Hips puts one up. Not the Warriors, sorry, Lobos. Nicole Hips now battling. And she is going to end up on the ground. Ariana Begay. And it got tangled up with Nicole Hips. Ariana is... Right now on the floor, nursing her left, I think, elbow. She And now that she's also holding her shoulder. She got tangled up with Nicole going to the ground. And uh, and uh, now she's a little bit shaken up. Coach Kim Williams out there to look at her star guard. Ariana was the last time we were at Tuba City. That was when uh, Tuba played Winslow. Ariana was... Our co-player of the game, Sports Zone's player of the game, and they're going to assist her up and off the floor, and I think she's going to the trainer's room. And they'll take a look at Ariana. Well, that's a tough loss for the team early on in the game. Checking in to replace her for Tuba is Raquel Lee. Raquel has, we've seen Raquel play well for Tuba City as well. So Raquel is out on the floor. She joins Natasha Coughley, Trice Sinigini, in that lineup also out there as we watch Snowflake try a three off the inbound. Aubrey Begay is on the floor right now for the Lady Warriors and Kiana Susan Yadami. Snowflake tried a three, missed it all, but it got tipped out of bounds by Tuba. Into the game for Snowflake now comes Chloe Reedhead. Chloe is going to look around, try to throw the inbound pass, gets it. Well, it was intended for Natalie. Carlisle, but it was stolen by Raquel Lee. So Raquel replaced Ariana Begay and immediately makes an impact by getting a steal for Tuba City. And we're tied at five, everybody. Halfway mark of the first quarter. Susan Yadami got in trouble on the baseline and just had to throw a wild shot up there. And she was able to draw some contact to get to the foul line for two shots. That is a personal foul on Chloe Reedhead of Snowflake, her first of the game. First. Snowflake foul. Tuba's also got one foul right now. And uh, Susan Yadami at the line misses the first foul shot attempt of the game. Now she'll try to break the tie with her second free throw. And she does. Shot is good. Kinsey Brogan replaces, uh, comes back into the lineup replacing Raya Denhalter for Snowflake. Kinsey joins Natalie Carlisle, Chloe Reedhead. Also, Kennedy Stewart is in the lineup. Hadley Nichols out there for the Lady Lobos. Hadley tries to penetrate, can't do it. Back outside to Stewart. Crowd wants to travel, didn't get it. Chloe Reedhead up on the angle. She has to pick up that dribble. Backs her way out, and a five second call. Hold on. Not a five second call. The official thought the official thought that Snowflake had asked for a timeout and I think that Snowflake said they didn't but then is settling for a timeout I, I, be, I believe. So Snowflake in this first quarter already going to spend their second timeout. Might have been some confusion there. I'm not sure Mike Brogan was asking for a timeout but the official heard it that way. And that happened in the last game that we broadcast as well. Very same thing. The official, uh, the uh, the coach was yelling for somebody named Ty. And the official thought they were saying time. So they stopped the play, straightened it all out, and went back to it. 
They have also adjusted the shot clock here. There are 11 seconds on the clock, the shot clock for Snowflake. The game clock has three minutes and 31 seconds left here in the first half. At halftime, we will break for the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report. Inbound for Snowflake comes into Chloe Reedhead. Now to Kennedy Stewart on the right angle. Kinsey Brogan curls around to the top of the key, gets the pass, and her jump shot no good. Rebounded by Raquel Lee, fouled immediately by Natalie Carlisle. Carlisle committing her first foul of the game for the Lady Lobos. Last time we saw Snowflake just a few days ago, the two Carlisle sisters, twin sisters, Natalie and Lindsay Carlisle, neither one of them were here for Snowflake or were there. It was at Snowflake. Couldn't make the game, but didn't hurt the team. They still won the game. Those ladies were at the National Finals Rodeo. Given that rodeo is a big part of their lives, I think might rank just ahead of basketball. And their father, as I understand it, won himself a big fat check up there riding rodeo in Las Vegas just a, a week or two ago. Something on the order of $50,000 or something like that. Nicely done. Under two minutes and... Well, now 45 seconds, 2.45 on the clock in the first quarter. Lob it over the top to Akafli, and she turned and got fouled immediately by Kloa Ulberg. Kloa just re-entered the game. And as I say that, it wasn't Kloa, it was Taylor Hancock. Taylor Hancock is the lady that gets called for the foul. Three fouls now in the first quarter on Snowflake. And that foul shot good for Akathli, the first point of the game for Natasha. 7-5. to 7-5 to five is our score. Tuba in front of Snowflake. It's going to stay that way on, on a missed foul shot by Akathli. Rebound, Raquel Lee and Tuba City regains control here. Lee on the baseline, kicks it out to Susan Yadami for a three-point try. That no good. Raquel again, rebound. Turn around, and she throws it up off the glass. Wow, what a shot. I'm not sure that Raquel even expected that one to go in, but she was just uh, relentless in her effort, and she has come in off the bench and made several plays already for Tuba City, and part of a backcourt tandem along with a teammate, Aubrey Bigay, that now forces a snowflake Turnover on a 10-second violation. Just unable to handle the ball cleanly, get it across into front court. And Tuba makes another play. They've got a 9-5 advantage right now over Snowflake. Inbound to Trees Sinigini. Familiar number 25, because I, I believe that was also Tate Sinigini's number when she played for Tuba City. And she is one of the all-time Tuba greats, isn't she, Tate? There's a shot that goes up. And it's too strong and misses, but there is a snowflake foul whistled. And now the second foul is whistled on Taylor Hancock. So she came in off the bench, and Taylor now already a second quick foul. So she'll exit the game. Hadley Nichols replaces her. Stewart leaves the game as well. And Nicole Hips has returned to the game for snowflake. Hips and... Nichols come in to join Chloe Ulberg, Kinsey Brogan, and let's see that other, that fifth, that is uh, it's going to be Natalie Carlisle out there on the floor as well for Snowflake. Nichols for three in the corner, and that one is just off the mark. Rebound. Tuba, that's Aubrey Begay scooping up the rebound up the left sideline. Cindy Jenny to the corner. Raquel Lee likes that three-point look. Didn't make the shot. Rebounded, though, by Ariana Begay. Kept alive by Tuba City. Susan Yadami. Keep in mind that when I say Susan Yadami, Susan is not her first name. That's all part of the last name. The whole last name is Susan Yadami. And the first name is actually Kiana. You'll hear me call her Kiki a lot. That's, that's the nickname. And look at this, scoop shot in the paint. Ariana Begay goes in, gets the contact, knocks her to the ground, made the shot off the glass, and a personal foul whistled on Nicole Hips. That'll be Nicole's first 
foul and the fifth team foul now on Snowflake in the first quarter means that for the final 48 seconds it's double bonus time they'll reset the fouls at the end of the quarter that's what they do now Arizona High School basketball and the end one is good Ariana's first field goal went in then she made the end one and it is let's see how many consecutive is that for for Tuba I I think it might be. So we watch uh, Natalie. Natalie Carlisle missed that little shot. The follow no good for Hips. Rebound Ulberg. Snowflake keeps it alive. 30 seconds. On the game clock. Inbound inside. Ulberg had the shot, but she missed it. Came up short. She was open to the basket. Had a layup, but couldn't make it. 20 seconds left. And no shot clock. No shot clock this final stretch of the first quarter. Now down to 15 seconds. Tuba City with the basketball. Under 10 seconds, Cindy Ginny guarded by Brogan to the high post to Copley. Right side, Ariana Begay is going to have to throw a runner up there, and that's no good before the buzzer sounds. And that's how the first quarter ends. But a nice run by the Lady Warriors scored at least seven unanswered points to round out the first quarter. And if Snowflake actually had a five to whatever lead before that, it's even, even bigger. Nice finish for the Lady Warriors. And the end of the first quarter, stand by. Back with the second quarter here at Tuba City in just a moment. This is Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. You may qualify for free internet with Choice NTUA Wireless. If you already have Choice Tribal Lifeline, then you may also qualify for a free home internet connection with the Affordable Connectivity Program. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless, Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000 and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. Hey, back to the action, and you just missed the start of the second quarter and a perfect read on a pass by Hadley Nichols of Snowflake. She read a pass, picked it off, and took it three quarters the length of the court for an easy layup, and Snowflake... Maybe you're looking at the replay right now. I don't have a program monitor, so I can't tell what you're, you're looking at, everybody. But it's a great start to the second quarter for Snowflake. And Hadley Nichols showing some great speed, athleticism, open court speed for Snowflake to get to the basket, beat the defense back, and give Snowflake their first points in a while. 12-7, Tuba in front. Natalie. Why, do I, why did I want to say Natalie Portman? Natalie Carlisle was on the angle and gave it up. And a drive into the paint. This will be a blocking foul called on on Thalia Klitso of Tuba City. Her first foul as she just checked into the lineup for the Lady Warriors. The lady she fouled who was driving was Raya Denhalter. And Raya will get the inbound pass. Pull up from 13 feet away. And miss that one off the, off the back iron. Rebound. Chloe Begay. She along with Thalia Clipso have just checked into the game for the first time today. No! Joining Kiana Susan Yadami, who's got the ball and dribbles to the baseline. Well, well covered by, by Natalie Carlisle. Gives up the ball to Raquel Lee. Raquel misses a couple of shots. No, that wasn't Raquel. Pardon me on that. That was Clipso that missed those two shots. Snowflake going to throw it down the floor. Dana Halter saves it back in, and her teammate Nichols picks it up inside. Carlisle shot no good. Battled for that loose ball, and it's out of bounds off of Tuba City. The Lady Warriors have those two young ladies that just came into the game along with Susan Yadami. Also, 
the uh, sophomore Therese Sinigini is in the game. And Natasha Akothley. Here's the snowflake inbound. It comes into Hadley Nichols. Gets it to Carlisle. Down low. And that'll be too many steps. That was Raya Denhalter trying to go around the defense. And she got to a point where if she would have dribbled, it would have been on the baseline. So she had to try and see if she could sneak an extra step in on the officials. But they were cagey. They were alert. They, they got... They got the, they got that one and a steal by Natalie Carlisle. She'll take it herself to the bucket and Natalie's got four points in the game for Snowflake. And Lady Lobos have come out and scored the first two field goals of the second quarter. And they have trimmed a seven point advantage down to just three points now for Tuba City. Thalia Klitzo, now to the top of the key, Susan Yadami from way downtown. Count the shots. That was a 26-footer. I mean, she was way downtown, and she said, I like it. I'll take it. And cashed it in on the big shots. Snowflake tried to answer right there. Carlisle couldn't make it. Oh, pardon me. That Yeah, that was Carlisle. And then Den Hall to the rebound, and she is fouled. Both Carlisle sisters in the game right now, by the way. Whistle and a foul on the Lady Warriors. Their third team foul here of the second quarter. But I don't have I don't have the number to go along with that foul. What I do know is that the lady at the foul line just missed her free throw try. That's Lindsay Carlisle. You got Lindsay Carlisle along with Kinsey Brogan, Natalie Carlisle, Nicole Hips, and Hadley Nichols in the snowflake lineup. Both foul shots off the mark. But Snowflake will control. Loose ball pickup by Natalie Carlisle. Kinsey Brogan spots up for a three. That's no good. And it's going to come down after a long rebound. Long bounce out toward the foul line. Comes down into Nicole Hip's hands. So Snowflake has another chance with it. See if they can take advantage. Try to tie the game on a three-point Kinsey Brogan try. No good there. And Natasha Coffey outduels. Outduels Carlisle. That was Lindsey Carlisle trying to battle with her for the rebound. Acopley got it, and then Tuba called timeout with 5-12 on the clock in the second quarter. So we'll take a timeout, everybody. A 30-second timeout coming your direction as you listen and watch Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. The Snowflake Lo uh, Lady Lobos have traveled here to Tuba City to try and improve upon it. an impressive 10-3 overall record. Tuba City comes in at 6-3, and, and Natasha Coffley, after a Snowflake steal, races down the floor, and a nice job to defend a pass and make Snowflake have to work off an inbound right now. But the Lady Lobos have come out, played a little stronger second quarter than the first until that pass that was just intercepted and the lady that intercepted it has returned from the trainer's room that's ariana begay and then immediately she was fouled by nicole hips that's two in the game on nicole and the lady warriors will inbound the ball with 448 remaining in the first half the mountain mobile auto glass halftime report comes up at the break Nice pass, nice job, nice communication. And I think that was Natasha Copley with the basket. There was two ladies, she and a teammate, kind of got mixed up under the basket after the shot went in, so I couldn't really tell who made the shot for a moment there. But it was Natasha, and Copley has three points in the game. How about this, the Lady Warriors? With a 17-9 lead, and they've really distributed the scoring out there. Distributed that well. Six different ladies in the scoring column. Snowflake with their nine points. That's three different Lady Lobos who have managed to get involved in the scoring. Brogan to the elbow. Dumps it off to Chloe Uber. Too strong on that shot. And it's rebounded by Trace. Trace. St. Jimmy. 
four one for the for the boys game. So keep it in mind. Into front court, Snowflake from the top of the key. Carlisle's three point try no good. Rebound Nichols and it's knocked out by Chloe Ulberg trying to get the rebound. She came flying in through the paint, tried to grab it, tipped it out. So it's Tuba's basketball and Hadley Nichols is going to challenge that in backcourt for a moment. No, nope, she'll drop back on defense and Snowflake will set up their man-to-man -man defense up the floor. And you know what? They're going to get the ball back. Didn't do anything necessarily, but miscommunication by the Lady Warriors. Susan Yadami thought that Akothley would go one direction, but she didn't, and the ball went out of bounds on a pass intended for Natasha. And then we'll get a snowflake turnover. Trouble handling the ball on the far sideline. Good defensive pressure applied by Ariana Begay. So now Akothley to throw it in, looking for help. And uh, it was Aubrey Begay that came out and gave her an, an assist. Got the ball back. Step back three on the way for Sinjini. And it didn't, just did not go in. Ulberg, Snowflake rebound. Up the floor they go. Snowflake with a jump shot from the right side. And Hadley Nichols tried a three, couldn't make it. Long pass after the rebound. Hadley Nichols a steal. Hadley's got, what, two, three steals in the game. She's done a good job intercepting some of these longer passes from Tuba. And then a dribble on the baseline. Good defense. Defense by maybe that was Cindy Jenny or, or Coughley under the basket. If I had a, a good look at our replay monitor, which I don't, I could I'd have, a, I'd have a chance to see how that's shaken out out there, but I don't have it. Tuba City got the ball back. Snowflake turnover, 17-9. Snowflake scored a couple of quick buckets to start the second quarter, and then they've been silent since those two shots. The Lady Warriors, well, they've scored five. Low scoring second quarter between these two teams. Nicole Hips could not quite complete the interception on the sideline in front of her bench. So Tuba got it back, and Tuba is going to lose the basketball. Shot clock violation. So it's going to be long. It's a snowflake for an inbound. 218 remaining in the first half. Ball crosses into front court. Nicole Hips to Kennedy Stewart, who's re entered. Chloe Ulberg shot no good. Stewart picks up a loose ball, tries about a 10 footer. Not good there. And that one's going to be. Eventually, in the hands of Kiana Susan Yadami, who got fouled by Nicole Hips. I've got that as three personal fouls on Nicole, so she checks out a Snowflakes lineup. Chloe Reedhead replaces her. And the inbound for the Lady Warriors. Ariana Begay gives it up. Patrice Sinigini to Natasha Coffley. Susan Yadami swings it in the corner, and that's open for Ariana Begay. The three-pointer in that corner in front of the Snowflake bench goes in. Big shot, big make. 95 seconds remain in the first half. And tied up. More good Tuba City defense. Stops the clock with exactly 95. Ticks of the clock remaining here in the first half, and Tuba's lead is now 20 to 9. 20 to 9. The Warriors getting some work done here in the last couple of minutes. And get an offensive foul. Tuba City trying to set a screen away from the ball was Ariana Begay, and that's her second foul of the first half. Team fouls, that's the fourth on Tuba City. Two fouls on Snowflake, so. Fouls will not be a factor when it comes to bonus. Not really. I mean, Tuba could foul and send Snowflake to the line, but I don't think it's going to happen often here in the final seconds of the first half. The Warriors only two team fouls. I don't think you'll see, or rather Snowflake two team fouls. You won't see Tuba at the line. Unless it's a typical shooting foul. Here's 
Kennedy Stewart attacked the baseline, tried to feed inside to Carlisle. Could not get the pass there. It's taken away. The Lady Warriors. Susan Yadami feeds Ariana Begay, and she's going to go baseline, throw it up there too much on it. And for a second time, she hits the ground on contact on the shot. So two shots for two shots for Ariana after she elicited the second foul of the game on Lindsey Carlisle. One minute remaining in the second quarter. That shot no good for Ariana. Well, both foul shots were, were off the mark for the Lady Warriors. Snowflake runs it up the floor. Lindsey Carlisle's jumper from the baseline no good, but Kennedy Stewart there to scoop up the loose ball for the Lady Lobos. Chloe Reedhead, no, nowhere to go, nowhere to enter the key. Got a pass away that Raya Denhalter picked up and drove nicely with the left hand off the glass, draws the personal foul. Count the foul on Chloe Begay. And that sends Raya Denhalter to the foul line. Snowflake unable to make the shot, the and one. And on that fight for the rebound, a Snowflake foul. That'll be on Carlisle. Thirty-three seconds. Thirty-three seconds. Now down to twenty-seven seconds remaining in this first half. Nice turnaround look from the baseline, but Kiana couldn't make the shot. Rebound. Trice Sinigeni. She'll try the little scoop shot between the defenders. That one no good. Kinsey Brogan, snowflake rebound. Twelve seconds remain in the half. Chloe Reedhead up the floor. Feed Stewart for a three. That one gonna rim off no good. Reed had the rebound. She goes up strong, and though she didn't get the shot, she did get the foul. And it's Natasha Akathli picking up that foul to try and prevent the shot with four seconds. Now four seconds remaining in this first half. The Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report straight ahead. I think Lindsey Carlisle has three fouls in the game, and Coach Brogan with this final four seconds is going to get her off the floor. Doesn't want, did not want to pick up that fourth foul. Ulberg is out there. And returning again to the Snowflake lineup. Reedhead makes the second of the foul shots. Inbound. Kiana Susan Yadami. And that shot was after the buzzer. It's no good for Sinigini, just inside a half court. And the first half comes to an end. Tuba City leading Snowflake in this girls' varsity game. 20 to 12, game one of our broadcast doubleheader tonight. We'll talk about things, break it down a bit for you here in just a moment. Stand by for the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report, basketball fans. More. Northland basketball on the way. It's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. With Choice NTUA Wireless, you can work, stream, serve, and play with the full power of our broadband service. We have expanded our network for more coverage and improved internet plans for your home. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband and order your home internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. When exactness is ordered, Hatch Concrete will deliver. We provide ready-mix concrete for any size job. From the do-it-yourself project to the professional construction project. Delivering a variety of aggregate to suit your concrete or construction needs from granite to cinders. Hatch Concrete is not just another ready-mix concrete company. We provide quality surface, quality concrete, concrete pumping, and Fox Blocks where quality is not just a name, but a tradition. At Hatch Concrete, this mud's for you. Don't settle for less on a gift when you can give way more for way less. The Hallmark Gold Crown Store in Pine Top goes beyond having the perfect card. 
exciting new lines were just released. Bourbon Barrel Foods out of Louisville, Kentucky features gourmet sauces, nuts, and seasonings. Jack Black's Men's Superior Skin Care, be manly and clean. And for ladies, pinkies up. Luxury teas, sugars, cups, and infusers. Open Monday through Saturday, the hallmark is where smiles are made together. The team at Beam and Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for beam and well drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with beam and well drilling. Not only does Perkins Cinders dominate site excavation, driveway building, and underground utility installation, they operate cinder pits and mines where they are literally crushing materials year-round. Don't just finish a construction job, crush it. Perkins Cinders, helping you get a load of this. You probably already know the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass jingle, but this holiday season, that jingle means holiday cash. Now through Christmas, we are giving away $500 cash each week and $1,000 bonus cash right before Christmas. Hello, Santa. Right now, when you choose Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint for your insured windshield replacement, you can choose two delicious steak dinners at Cattleman's Steakhouse and two movie tickets to the WME Theaters or full-service car washes at the KK Express Wash, or a $100 gift certificate for window tint. That's a great idea for a present from the best auto glass tinters on the mountain. And everyone's name goes in the hat for weekly winners of $500 in holiday cash. And again in the hat for the $1,000 Christmas bonus drawing. Five, three, six, five, nine, seven, two, mountain mobile auto glass. Welcome to the Mountain Mobile Halftime. A complete first half breakdown of tonight's Sports Zone Radio Game of the Week broadcast. This is the Mountain Mobile Halftime. It's halftime here in Tuba City. Welcome back to our courtside location at the Warriors Pavilion, everybody. Floyd Simmons here on the play by play call for the Sports Zone out on the floor. The cheerleaders are having some fun. They've got their uh, they've got their uh, holiday adornment, their Christmas. Uh, I don't know if those are. I don't know if those are uh, reindeer. Uh, I think they're, I think they're rain, reindeer antlers, or they might just be Christmas trees. But uh, they look they look festive. They look fun and entertaining the crowd here as we get ready for Christmas time. Hope your shopping is done. Mine is clearly not because I'm a dude. And I've got some more shopping to be done between now and Christmas. Don't ask me how it's going to happen. Don't ask me how it's going to turn out. Somehow it always does, but uh, I'm starting to get more and more nervous, sweaty, and, well, it's problematic for sure. Uh, meanwhile, we hope you're having a fun time out there doing whatever you're doing and uh, getting ready for Christmas. Uh, this is Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless tonight. Tonight. So we're we'll bringing you the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report. A 20 to 12 lead for the Tupa City Lady Warriors over Snowflake as we take you into halftime for the Warriors. They are led in scoring by Ariana Begay. She had a scare there in the first half, got injured, left, went to the trainer's room, then returned and helped close out the first half with her team out there on the floor. She's hit a three-pointer in the game. She leads the scoring with five points. And that is really the high point lady for both sides. Kiana Susan Yonami hit a big three in that second quarter, and she's got four points in the game. A trio of Lady Warriors with three points apiece. Aubrey Begay's got three. Therese Cindy Jenny's got three. Natasha Coffley also has three points. And two points in this one for Raquel Lee. The Lady Warriors, as a team, have three three-point makes in the first half. Nobody really in foul trouble. Aubrey Begay's got two fouls. Natasha Coffley has two fouls as well. For the Snowflake Lady Lobos, they are led by the four points from Natalie Carlisle. A teammate, Kinsey Brogan. Kinsey's got three points. That was the team's only three-point basket so far in the game. And the one field goal that Kinsey has managed in the first half. Two points for Hadley Nichols. Two points for Raya Denhalter. And one point for Chloe Reedhead to round out the first half scoring 
for these two teams. Score at halftime is 20 to 12. So we bring you the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass halftime report. Well, this is our final broadcast before Christmas. I get to go to the Indigenous Bowl tomorrow. That's a big all nationwide all-star football game for Native American student athletes. My son is playing for one of those teams tomorrow in Palm Springs. That's tomorrow at 11 a.m. So <laughs> just think about it. I've got to be, I'm going to be done with this broadcast. These games here, I don't know what, around 10 o'clock. And by 11 a.m. California time, so that's 12 noon here, Arizona, sometime in that 14-hour time span, I've got to be at the game in Palm Springs. And I want to thank my good friend Jared Hatch, Hatch Concrete in the White Mountains, because thanks to his generosity and availability, I'm going to fly out there on his private airplane. So I'm going to leave Taylor tomorrow morning very early, drive home from here, leave Taylor tomorrow morning. And, uh, and watch my son play in the Indigenous Bowl with, uh, with some all-star football athletes from across the country. Well, that's going to wrap up our halftime breakdown, everybody. No further broadcast action here in 2023 after tonight for the Sports Zone. We'll get back to the action early in January. And you should see this January schedule. It will blow your mind. We have so much coverage coming your way. So many games and so many miles to put on the, uh, the Sports Zone's war pony out there. We're going to be out there a lot. We can't wait to see you out there, okay? All right, we'll take our final timeout. Final timeout. It's that playlist called uh, Halftime or Half One, whatever. So we'll play that uh, that final commercial break and return for the second half in a moment. Tuba City leads Snowflake in the girls game 20 to 12. This is Northland basketball. It's presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Have you heard the big news? White Mountain Regional Medical Center in Springerville is bold in their approach to upgrade and improve your healthcare experience. Not only do they have professional, experienced providers that service a wellness clinic, laboratory and physical therapy services, and imaging and surgical services, they are also expanding their ER facility and capabilities. White Mountain Regional Medical Center strives to enhance the wellness of your community, one patient at a time. You probably already know the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass jingle, but this holiday season, that jingle means holiday cash. Now through Christmas, we are giving away $500 cash each week and $1,000 bonus cash right before Christmas. Hello, Santa. Right now, when you choose Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint for your insured windshield replacement, you can choose two delicious steak dinners at Cattleman's Steakhouse and two movie tickets to the WME Theaters or full service car washes at the KK Express Wash, or a $100 gift certificate for window tint. That's a great idea for a present from the best auto glass tinters on the mountain. And everyone's name goes in the hat for weekly winners of $500 in holiday cash. And again in the hat for the $1,000 Christmas bonus drawing. Five, three, six, five, nine, seven, two, seven, mobile auto glass. The inbound to Snowflake, and we're underway with this broadcast of Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Welcome back in, everybody, to the Warriors Pavilion in Tupa City. My name is Floyd Simmons. Our broadcast team led by the producer, Derek Simmons. Our technical director is Julio Kay, and up on camera one tonight is Leonard Keone. And the broadcast underway. Now, see a couple of comments out there. Somebody says, no video, but have sound. And I wonder, you've got to you've got to be getting video out there, right? We've got monitors on our YouTube broadcast, and this game only available on YouTube tonight. There is an issue with the Facebook uh, Facebook feed, which is why, by the way, I always recommend that you you go ahead and uh, if you're if you ever watch the games on Facebook, that you. Make it a default for you to watch on YouTube instead. We have much better success with YouTube than Facebook. And I think that's by intention. There's a shot clock violation to the city. Just 
I mean, you lose track of the you lose track of the clock. You just do. And it all it, when, when there's a shot clock violation, it tends to be the one time in the game that it happens to you. After that, you start to become aware and cognizant of the fact that there is a shot clock. But that's what you get. You kind of get the one time that it happens. Generally speaking, these possessions do not last the 35 seconds of the shot clock almost ever. Like for Snowflake, for example, right there. There's a couple of misses. Up the floor it goes. And drop a pass back. Aubrey Begay feeds it outside for a Kiana Susanyatomy shot that's no good. We're a minute and a half into the second half, everybody. Here with Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. A steal by Ariana Begay to Susan Yadami, and she'll feed her teammates Aubrey Begay with the shot. The shot is good, and Tuba's got the second half scoring underway. Good defense, good ball movement, and the shot good. But Snowflake's got an answer, and it's Hadley Nichols. Nichols bombs a three, knocks it down from toward that left corner. Shot good for Snowflake. Two minutes into the third period, our score is Tuba City 22, Snowflake 15, and the girls' varsity matchup here tonight. The boys will follow here from Tuba. Here's a turnaround. Kiana Susanyatomy missed the shot. Follow no good by Aubrey Begay. Snowflake eventually a rebound. Natalie Carlisle throws it up the floor. Pass drop back to Nicole. Hips for three, and that's good for Snowflake. So they get two quick threes. And, and uh, Tuba City says, eh, that's too much. I've seen too much. They're going to call a timeout. 5.37 on the clock, third quarter. Tuba 22, Snowflake 18. The Lobos with two big threes will take a 30-second timeout. This is Northland Basketball presented by Choice, NTUA Wireless. You may qualify for free internet with Choice NTUA Wireless. If you already have Choice Tribal Lifeline, then you may also qualify for a free home internet connection with the Affordable Connectivity Program. Visit one of our Choice NTUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice NTUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. Northland basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless and Snowflake's defense causes a turnover. Tuba City throws it out of bounds off of the possession from their timeout. That's not what you want. Every time you call timeout, what your hope is is that you get immediate results out of it. And for the Lady Warriors, unfortunately, not the case. Snowflake brings it into front court. Natalie Carlisle. Also, Taylee Hancock out there on the floor just entered the Lady Lobos lineup. She's got the basketball right now. Tuba had taken it away, threw it right back to Hancock. Hadley Nichols under the basket with a beautiful adjustment to get the shot. Uh, did a terrific job, and Snowflake with a thunderous early third quarter comeback. And we'll get a foul on Lindsey Carlisle. Uh-oh, Lindsey Carlisle just committed her fourth foul of the game. And Coach Brogan is, well, he didn't get Lindsey. Now he does. Lindsey leaves along with Kinsey Brogan. They have both left the floor. And returning for Snowflake to the lineup is Chloe Ulberg and Raya Denhalter. Here's a pass in the paint. And that is going to be knocked out of bounds by Snowflake defensively. Trying to take the shot up after getting that pass was Aubrey Begay, and it got knocked out of bounds. How about this? 22 to 20. We've got this thing trimmed down to a two point game here at Tuba City. Double dribble. That's a good call. Thalia Klitso has come into the Tuba City lineup, and she turned the ball over right there. Inbound. Snowflake. Hancock. Back to Carlisle. Across to Denhalter. Forced to pass. Snowflake will have trouble trying to pick up, and they do. Hadley Nichols able to control it. Carlisle dribbles in and dishes back outside. Snowflake resets. They've got seven on the shot clock. See if they notice. They're not going to matter because they get it inside to Hadley Nichols for the shot. Beat the shot clock by a couple of seconds. Hadley has come out on fire in the third quarter. She's got seven points in this quarter for Snowflake, who has just tied the game. Tied it 22 to 22. Snowflake has outscored Tuba 10 to 2 in the third quarter. Tuba drive, Snowflake foul. 
Chloe Ulberg committing her first foul of the game. Ariana Begay returns to the lineup for Tuba City, replaced Thalia Klitzo. She's out there with Aubrey Begay, who sets her a screen inbound to Ariana. Now the ball into the hands of Kiana, Susan Yadami. There's three of your five on the floor right now for Tuba. Also, Therese Sinigini is out there. And the fifth Lady Warrior is Natasha Akothley. Hand off to Ariana Begay. Who dribbles way back out on top. Man-to-man -man defender on her, Taylor Hancock. Cindy Jenny to Akafli. She is going to try to put it on the floor. And she's going to have, just going to have to cover it up and try to control it. It's a jump ball tied up by Taylor Hancock. Well, Natasha didn't see Cindy Jenny coming from her left side on a curl to the basket. And I think Therese was going to be open for a pass, but Natasha didn't see it. Inbound is stolen by Taylor Hancock for Snowflake. Hancock inside to Denhalter. Turn around. That one's no good. Tipped and knocked out. Last touch by Ariana Begay. So Hancock will set it up to throw it in. Kennedy Stewart is in to the lineup for Snowflake. Looking for the pass in the corner, and Hancock forces one inside to Denhalter. Tips by Akafli. Tuba City's got the basketball. Sinigini back outside, and Kiana Susaniotomy knocks a three down. Her second of the game for the Lady Warriors that breaks the tie. Tuba's had the lead throughout. Snowflake tied it a moment ago. Tuba got it back there, 25-22 on that three-point make. And a miss inside by Snowflake, but loose ball picked up by Natalie Carlisle. She put it on the floor and tried to dribble past Ariana Begay and lost that dribble. And a jump ball is called. Two ladies ended up on the ground. Snowflake will return three ladies to the lineup here now. Chloe Reedhead, Kinsey Brogan, and Nicole Hips are into the lineup. The Warriors will send Chloe Begay out there on the floor to join her teammates. Inbound. Chloe Reedhead high off the glass. Or off the back iron, no good. Tipped. Touched out by Susan Yadami. Snowflake will set it up with 2.39 on the clock in the third quarter. Well, I think this is a great example of really how evenly matched the 3A East and 3A North regions are. And that's not something we say often at all, is it? Tuba is one of the best up in the North. Snowflake, one of the best in the East. And of course, a bunch of teams flanking them. Chloe Reedhead, by the way, just picked up her second personal foul. Ariane Begay comes up short on a three point try. Rebound Snowflake's Kinsey Brogan. Chloe Reedhead throws it up the floor. And the jump shot, no good for Stewart. Rebound Snowflake. Den Halter got it outside to Brogan. Brogan's three point shot, good for Snowflake. And the Lobos after the make by Brogan, her second three of the game, will call a quick timeout. And Snowflake with some great, some beautiful string music on the three-point make, right? String music, Derek, that's what we heard today. Shot made, tied the game, 25 apiece. 2.05 remaining third quarter, this 30-second timeout. Northland basketball presented by Choice NTU Way Wireless. What's your style? Classic, farmhouse, yeehaw, antique, contemporary, European, bonjour. The Furniture Gallery, located in Snowflake, are the experts to not only help you discover what makes you, you, but they'll do it with your budget in mind. The Furniture Gallery doesn't just sell furniture. They help you turn a house into a home where families laugh and celebrate, share a meal, and create lasting memories. At the Furniture Gallery, they'll do whatever it takes to make you a customer for life. Thank you goes out to the Furniture Gallery and Snowflake, to great sponsors like them, like Holbrook Family Dentistry, serving not just Holbrook and Winslow in that area, but serving so many of their patients that see them from up on the Navajo Reservation. Travel from far and wide to come to Holbrook and visit Holbrook Family Dentistry, Dr. Jason Lyman and his great people providing that service to many of you, many of you that are Northland basketball fans and your 
Patronage. And your partnership with them is much appreciated by Holbrook Family Dentistry. That inbound pass is going to get tipped away. Tuba City will reset. Two minutes and four seconds. Remaining third quarter. Snowflake with a three-pointer from Kinsey Brogan a moment ago. Have tied the game. Inbound for the Warriors. Up the floor it goes. Aubrey, but no, that's uh, Ariana Begay. To Kiki, Susan Yotomi in the corner. Back outside to Begay, and then they'll swing it to the top. And that is a bit of a wild shot. Raquel Lee has come in for the Warriors. She immediately attacked the basket, unable to make that one. And it's out of bounds off of Tuba City. A chance for Snowflake to take the lead. And if memory serves me correct, it would be Snowflake's first lead of the game. Nicole Hips has it. To Kinsey Brogan, right side, Chloe Reedhead, bounce pass to Den Halter. Boy, I tell you, Snowflake, I mean. <laughs> And no call for travel. I, I thought three ladies in a row were on the borderline of traveling, and uh, in, instead they get points out of it. Great job by Snowflake. And the lady with the points was Raya Denhalter. Raya's first second half points, four in the game for Raya. More importantly, Snowflake, I think for the first time in the game, have the, the lead in the game. 27-25, Snowflake in front of Tuba City. Reed heads pass into front court, finds Denhalter. She'll attack the basket. Nice dish. The shot just a little bit too short for Kennedy Stewart. Couldn't make the shot. Tuba's got it up the right baseline. Ariana Begay drops a pass off toward the baseline. That's going to be knocked away. Stolen by Kinsey Brogan. And a pass intended for a Cothley. The Stewart in front court. Gives that one to Hips. Drive, force one up. That'll be a foul. And the official says two shots, shooting foul on a Tuba City foul. That's Raquel Lee. Gets called for her first foul of the game. This sends Nicole Hips to the line. Snowflake trying to make it now a four-point lead if they can get both of the foul shots. First one is good for Nicole. She hit a big three-pointer earlier in this quarter. So all four of her points have been scored here in the third period. And that shot just a bit off the mark. Rebound, Snowflake. Den Halter to Hips. Pull up at the foul line. The jump shot is good. And two big Nicole Hips contributions here in the last, I don't know, 20 seconds. We got six points in the game. Her teammate, Hadley Nichols, leads the Snowflake scoring with nine points. Hadley's scored seven of her points in the third quarter. And we got less than 20 seconds remaining in the quarter. Tuba City turns it over. Aubrey Begay went to the deck, lost the dribble out of bounds, and Snowflake will have it at a five-point lead with 15.6 seconds remaining in the third quarter. You're listening to Mix 98 KRFM Sholo, the home of Sports Zone Radio. Pass intercepted. Aubrey Begay to Ariana for three left side. That's no good. Back iron. Five seconds. Rebound. Knocked out of bounds. Tuba City will have one last chance to inbound the ball with 2.4 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Snowflake on top by five. Kiana Susignotomy inbound. And from the corner, a three-point try. Ariana Begay, nice look, nice look. But the shot was just a little bit short. No good for Tuba City. And that's how the third quarter ends. Fourth period on the way here from Tuba City's Warriors Pavilion. Snowflake 30, Tuba City 25. Northland basketball presented by Choice and TUA Wireless. You may qualify for free internet with Choice and TUA Wireless. If you already have Choice Tribal Lifeline, then you may also qualify for a free home internet connection with the Affordable Connectivity Program. Visit one of our Choice and TUA Wireless locations nearest you to get started. Give us a call at 928-730-2273 or go online now to choice-wireless.com forward slash ACP and get qualified for a free internet connection today. Choice and TUA Wireless. Navajo owned, Navajo proud. 
If there's one player on the field that outperforms the rest, it's Perkins Cinders. Like any all-star, they put in the hard work by sourcing, sorting, and delivering all things dirt. Concrete materials, gravel, cinders, topsoil, mulch, and more. With over five decades of knowledge and expertise, manpower, and a whole lot of horsepower, Perkins Cinders will help you score that huge win with your project. Serving the entire White Mountains at PerkinsCindersInc.com. Get a load of this. Thanks to Perkins Cinders, one of our sponsoring partners of our Northland basketball coverage here at the Sports Zone. And a big thank you goes out to Choice NTU Way Wireless, without whom it just wouldn't be possible for the Sports Zone to bring you this coverage. Here's the drive by Tuba City off the fourth quarter start in the inbound pass, and a Chloe Ulberg foul whistled. She's now got two in a game. 7.51 on the clock here in the fourth quarter. And the Warriors at the line. This is Aubrey Begay. She makes the first one. And the second is perfect for Aubrey. Total of seven points in the game for Aubrey. She is the high point lady along with Kiana Susan Yotami, who also has seven and a couple of threes for Tuba City. They trail by three right now. We'll get a whistle on the Warriors trying to trying to bracket Chloe Ulberg. It's Aubrey Begay's third foul of the game now. 30 to 27 is our score. Here's the inbound. For Snowflake. In the corner, that's Natalie Carlisle. She feeds Ulberg underneath. Couldn't make that shot. And it's Natasha Coffley for the tuba rebound. 34 seconds into the fourth quarter. Susan Yanami attacking the baseline, goes around the defender for the shot. Nicely done as she beat Nicole Hips. And just a speedy dribble around. Drop the two points in, and we're back to a one-point game. Nicole Hips flying in there. Missed her shot, but the rebound for Den Halter is up and good. Nice second chance bucket for Snowflake in the form of Raya Denhalter inside. Great job by Raya. Snowflake back in front by three points, 32-29. Tree Sinigini on the left angle, changes directions, gets it off to Susan Yotami, and she'll go inside and fouled as she tried to scoop it up on a baseline move. And it's Nicole Hips trying to stay with her that committed the foul. That's four fouls in the game on on Hips. Nicole's got her fourth foul. Lindsey Carlisle's got four fouls for Snowflake as well. So those two ladies in a lot of trouble. Coach Brogan is, looks like he's going to get Nicole off the floor here just as soon as Kiana shoots the first foul shot, which does not go in. There goes Nicole Hips out of the game. Kennedy Stewart into the Snowflake lineup. Stewart Jones, Hadley Nichols, Raya Denhalter, Natalie Carlisle, and Chloe Ulberg for Snowflake. And the second try, no good for Kiki. Snowflake rebound, Carlisle trapped in backcourt, looking for help. She is going to throw it away. Susan Yadami almost got a got a hand on it. Almost got a fingertip on that pass. But it was great defense by Tuba City forcing that pass that went out of bounds. 6.36 remaining in the fourth quarter. After the game, we'll announce the Sports Zone's player of the game presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Tuba City the inbound. And they're going to lob a pass to a Cothley. And Chloe Ulberg tips that one out of bounds. Set it up for an inbound for Tuba City. Snowflake 32, Tuba City 29 in this girls varsity game. Inbound for Tuba, and nicely done. Nice adjustment by Aubrey Begay to get two out of it. I don't know how she made the shot on her drive. I think she tripped over one of the Snowflake players, and then we'll get a turnover. Travel is called on, on Natalie Carlisle. That'll give Tuba City the ball and a chance to retake the lead right here, down by one, 32 to 31. Chloe Reedhead replaces Natalie Carlisle. Coach brought her out. Natalie got real frustrated with herself on that on that travel. Snowflake will intercept the inbound. Great speed, great job, great defensive play by 
by Kennedy Stewart. Feeds her teammate for the runner on the baseline. Chloe Reedhead running that left baseline. Just threw it up. Nicely done as she dropped it in. That little teardrop kind of shot from the baseline on the run. Chloe's got three in the game. Snowflake back in front by three. 34 to 31. Trying to get this road win. Make it an 11 and 3 record for Snowflake if they can get this win here at Tuba. Warriors in the game right now with a 6 and 3 overall record. We'll get a whistle and a foul on Natasha Akothley. Three fouls on Natasha. Ariana Begay will leave the game for a moment. Raquel Lee replaces her for, for the Warriors. Full court defense. And then Raquel is going to defend the inbound pass intended for Stewart Kennedy, uh, uh, Kennedy Stewart. That, that name could go either way, couldn't it? You could be Kennedy Stewart as, as it is, or you could be Stuart Kennedy. Snowflake up the floor, drop a pass back. Another runner attempt this time by Reedhead will not go in. Tree Sinigeni has the rebound, and she's going to go coast to coast, maybe. Now drop a pass back outside. Raquel Lee to the opposite angle, and a block shot. Great defense. Kennedy Stewart has made two great defensive plays in the last couple of tuba possessions. Plays for Snowflake. And we're down to 5.08 remaining in the fourth period. Look at this shot somehow. Chloe Reed had dribbling around and doing everything she can to lose the ball, but lose it. Defenders draped on her, and she's able to throw one up, make a shot for Snowflake. 36-31, matching the biggest lead Snowflake's had in the game so far. Five points. Into the game comes Raya Denhalter, replacing Kinsey Brogan. Denhalter out there on the floor with Hadley Nichols. The high point lady for Snowflake. Also, Chloe Reedhead is out there. Lindsey Carlisle has returned to the lineup with her four personal fouls. Kennedy Stewart rounds out to Snowflake five, and they've got a steal. Chloe Reedhead takes it away. Ahead to Carlisle. And she's going to get called for a double dribble. Had a little trouble with the left hand dribble in front court. And turns the ball over. The Warriors possess it once again. Four and a half remaining in regulation. Raquel Lee with the ball. Man-to-man -man coverage provided by Hadley Nichols, and Raya Denhalter steals her pass. Raya's got the shot. Did a good job to adjust at the end. I thought she might have had her steps off, but not Raya. Able to make it. Big basket there. Two big fourth quarter baskets for Raya off the Snowflake bench. And a timeout taken by Tuba City, down by seven now. The biggest deficit they have faced in this game. It's 38-31 Snowflake, 4-14 remaining in regulation, and we've got this timeout. This is Northland Basketball, presented by Choice NTU Way Wireless. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. Thanks to our outstanding sponsoring partners of Northland Basketball, led by Choice NTUA Wireless. They include great people like Beam and Well Drilling and, and the Furniture Gallery and Snowflake as well. Thank you to Ace Hardware of the White Mounds. And that family-owned business, that includes the Hallmark Gold Crown Store and the Bloomhouse Floral Designs Shop. Here's the inbound for two, but a big collision and a foul. That will be the fifth of the game on... Lindsay Carlisle, she just absolutely, well, she took uh, Ariana Begay right off her feet. And I mean, uh, you know, Lindsay, uh, no harm, no foul, I don't think, on that. But, you know, it's just one of those happenstance collisions out there on the floor, and Ariana did go down hard. That is the third time she has 
been knocked to the deck. She has had a rough game today. Our score, Snowflake 38, Tuba City 31. As they take a look at uh, Ariana, and we're all going to just hold our breath for a moment for that young Tuba City warrior. Cedar upright. And, of course, we're all hoping that she is she's going to be okay and hopefully finish out the game as well. Tuba City needs that young lady on the floor. One of their leaders. Talented basketball player, and she's going to go to the bench for a moment. She's not going to the trainer's room, and that's at least I don't think she is. And uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. Nope, she's going to stay in the area. I think we might yet see Ariana return to the floor for Tuba City. Raquel Lee will replace her on the floor. Raquel joins Kiana, Susan Yadami out there. Also Aubrey Begay, Trice Sinigini, and the lady throwing it in, Natasha Akafli. The Warriors get the ball in to Susan Yadami. Clock starts again. Now 4-10 remaining and a pass intended for Raquel Lee, who was slashing into the paint. Goes over her head out of bounds, and Tuba City throws it back to Snowflake. The Lady Lobos with a seven-point advantage, their biggest lead of the game. Inbound for the Lobos. Can they make it nine? Maybe ten right here. Kennedy Stewart to Chloe Reedhead. Now Chloe Ulberg handles the ball way out on top. Hadley Nichols on the right angle outside the arc. And then Raya Denhalter will handle it. Everybody in that lineup getting a chance to handle the basketball. Hadley Nichols is out there with them. But a pass that's stolen away by Therese Sinigini. Up the floor she goes to a Coffley underneath. And fouled by Chloe Ulberg for two shots. Shot attempt did not go in, but Natasha to the foul line. Chloe's third foul of the game. Team foul number four on Snowflake here in the fourth quarter, meaning from this point on, after five fouls, with five and more fouls on Snowflake, Tupa City will get into the two-shot bonus. But, boy, I'm telling you, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a positive or not because... Tuba City is 0 for their last three foul shots. In this third quarter, they've tried three, and they've missed all three free throws. Because that one did not go in. Just now for Natasha, her second. They do not offer one and one anymore. That foul shot no good either. Man. Rebound. Raquel Lee and had it knocked out of bounds. Swatted out of bounds by one of the Lady Lobos. So Tuba City will have a chance on the possession to get some points yet. Here comes the inbound. Kiana Susan Yadami looking around. Gets it in. Nope, stolen. Raya Denhalter. She has played well defensively in. Up the floor she goes. A little trouble with the handles. Able to get to the foul line, though. She got fouled in the act of shooting. And it was Aubrey Begay committing her fourth foul. To the foul line goes Snowflake, Raya Denhalter. Foul shot good. Natalie Carlisle back in the game. She has replaced Kennedy Stewart. Denhalter will try to make this a nine-point advantage and unable. Made the first. Missed the second. Tuba City rebound. Here comes Ariana Begay back into the... Warriors line up on the next dead ball. Meanwhile, Natasha Alcothley able to get to the bucket, make a basket. Big one for Tuba. Raquel Lee checks out in favor of Ariana Begay. Boy, Ariana has been, uh, she's been beat up a little bit in this game. But she is still out there. Come back in, and she's just got her shot blocked by Hadley Nichols. Hadley comes up with the loose ball after that. She's in trouble in backcourt, and Coach Brogan, Mike Brogan, has to call timeout with 3.13 remaining in the game. Try to save that possession. Snowflake in front by 6, 39-33. This timeout, you are listening to and watching Northland Basketball presented by Choice, NTUA Wireless. 
You probably already know the Mountain Mobile Auto Glass jingle, but this holiday season, that jingle means holiday cash. Now through Christmas, we are giving away $500 cash each week and $1,000 bonus cash right before Christmas. Hello, Santa. Right now, when you choose Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint for your insured windshield replacement, you can choose two delicious steak dinners at Cattleman's Steakhouse and two movie tickets to the WME Theaters or full-service car washes at the KK Express Wash, or a $100 gift certificate for window tint. That's a great idea for a present from the best auto glass tinters on the mountain. And everyone's name goes in the hat for weekly winners of $500 in holiday cash. And again in the hat for the $1,000 Christmas bonus drawing. Five, three, six, five, nine, seven, mountain mobile auto glass. Big thanks to Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint for their partnership here with Northland Basketball at the Sports Zone. Presenting sponsor is Choice NTUA Wireless, of course. Thank you to Jace Green and uh, his great staff, led by Kevin Kerr. A lot of credit is always given to Angel Kerr, the wife of Kevin, who also is part of the uh, leadership team there at, at Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tint. I mentioned them a little bit extra because they joined us this morning on a on our local live morning show on Mix 98. And this morning they gave away a total, a total of $2,000. Actually more than that as you watch some great work on the baseline and that shot good for Ariana Begay. Ariana Begay with the big fourth quarter bucket. We're down to a four point separation between the teams. 39-35 Snowflake double dribble on Raya Denhalter. Coach Brogan doesn't like it. He's going to go get uh, Chloe Ulberg off the bench and get her into the game. And uh, Den Halter leaves. And the official is getting an earful from Coach Brogan after that call. There is a ball tipped out defensively by Hadley Nichols. Hadley's played great defense. In fact, I love her defense. And on a team, Snowflake, that's got three or four strong defensive players, she might be as good as anybody for Snowflake playing, playing on that side of the ball. Here's the inbound to Ariana Begay. Brings it back outside against two defenders for Snowflake. And with two and a half rem minutes remaining in regulation, Tuba City down by four points. They're going to take their time. Well, they were for a minute. Tree Sinigini decided she liked the looks of a 22-footer out there and missed that shot. Tipped and controlled by Snowflake. Ariana Begay steps in front of a pass, steals it, and gets fouled by Chloe Ulberg. And for Snowflake and for Chloe, I think that's her fourth foul of the game now. It's a big foul right there. If my count is correct, Chloe's got four fouls. Lindsey Carlisle with four. Nicole Hibbs has four. Nicole's out there on the floor, along with Ulberg. That other lady with four, Lindsey Carlisle's on the bench right now. Snowflake's got Ulberg and uh, Natalie Carlisle, Hadley Nichols. Kinsey Brogan, Nicole Hips, currently on the floor. That might be the original starting five for Snowflake. And the lady at the line is Ariana Begay. Perfect on the foul shot. She's got eight points in the game. There is nobody on either team with double figures yet, though three ladies between the two teams have scored nine points, and Ariana not going to get there on that one. Missed the second foul shot. Natalie Carlyle running with the rebound, tried to get a pass over to Nicole Hips, who could not quite pull that one in off the fingertips out of bounds. So with a three-point deficit to make up, Tuba City inbounds the ball to Ariana Begay. Up into front court. Aubrey Begay, the bounce pass to a Coffley, and she tried to force a pass between defenders. And it was stolen by Natalie Carlisle. Snowflake's got the ball back, a minute 47 remaining. In the fourth quarter, Chloe Ulberg, she throws one inside that gets eventually kicked out of bounds. They say that it was Hadley Nichols that got the knee on it, knocked it out. Tuba's got the basketball, the Snowflake Lobos will. Defended backcourt. Not a whole lot of pressure. And a just a pass that shouldn't have been thrown into front court. And who is it? Hadley Nichols. Great snowflake defender with the 
Steal for the Lobos. They lead 39-36. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Hips has it. Right side in the corner to Nichols. Guarded there by Ariana Begay. Kinsey Brogan running. Ill-advised shot attempt. Not a high percentage shot. Running from about 17 feet out. Moving left to right. And then that resulted in a Brogan foul. Kinsey might have been frustrated. I don't know. With herself maybe. Thinking about that. Shot attempt. Would love to have that one back, I'm sure. That's only the first foul, though, on Kinsey in the game. So from that regard, not a lot of harm on that. However, it does send Natasha Akafli to the foul line for two shots. The fifth team foul on Snowflake. A minute, 11 remaining. Natasha unable to make that foul shot. Boy, there is uh, there's something. Uh, that's, one of those, that's one of those carnival baskets out there. It looks like it's round when you're standing looking at it from straight ahead, but I don't know that it really is because these Lady Warriors have really struggled to make a foul shot. That one won't go in. Natasha has missed five straight foul shots, but she's not the only one. Her teammates as well as Natasha battles to try to get a rebound, tips it out. Snowflake will have it with a minute four remaining. The Lady Warriors have missed seven of eight foul attempts, foul shot attempts in the fourth quarter. They missed four free throws in the first half. That's been their kryptonite tonight. We are going to get a whistle and a tube of foul. Ariana Begay. First foul on Ariana today. That's the fourth team foul on the Warriors. Snowflake's got five, and Snowflake. Looking around to throw it in. Natalie Carlisle's pass into Nicole Hips. 50 seconds remain. Nicole picks up her dribble. Might have actually dribbled it off her hip right there. No call from the official. Carlisle with the lob. Takes it inside. Missed the shot on the baseline. Got too far under. And the rebound to Natasha Coffley. Up the floor. Aubrey Begay under the basket. The shot won't go. She was too far under. And did not get the friendly home court bounce. I mean, that basket has been... That basket has been trouble for Tuba on that end of the floor today, in this fourth quarter especially. And we'll get a whistle and timeout. Snowflake wants to slow down and try to control the possession. Timeout taken by the, by the Lady Lobos. A full timeout with 30 seconds remaining. We'll grab a 30-second break here, everybody. 39-36. The Lady Lobos in front of Tuba City in this game, wrapping it up here in a moment. Northland Basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. We get it. The last thing you probably want is a trip to the hospital. But the first thing you should consider is where you'll receive the best healthcare experience. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center, located in Springerville, we strive to be the community's preferred healthcare provider. Need a home doctor visit, a wellness appointment, or to utilize the latest CT and MRI technology? Our professionally trained staff will care for you with empathy and purpose. White Mountain Regional Medical Center is your healthcare partner when choices matter. We have 30 seconds remaining in regulation. Welcome back to Tuba City. Northland basketball presented by Choice, NTUA Wireless. Well, Tuba City outscored Snowflake 12 to five in the first quarter. They outscored the Lobos eight to seven in the second quarter. They have tied the game 9-9 in fourth quarter scoring, but it was the third quarter where Snowflake really took over the game and they outscored Tuba City 18 to seven in the third quarter. Foul shots in the fourth period have been a problem for Tuba City, for sure. 20 seconds remaining after Snowflake inbounds, and now a foul that will send Kennedy Stewart to the line for two shots. Fifth team foul on the Warriors, and for Ariana Begay, foul number two for her. So these are two enormous foul shots for Kennedy Stewart. And the first one off the mark. Raya Denhalter in the game for Kinsey Brogan. I can see that Denhalter, relentless defender. Big shot right here, make it a two possession game. If it goes in, does not. Tips out, out of bounds. Warriors basketball with 17 seconds remaining. No shot clock on this possession for Tuba. Here comes Taylor Hancock 
into the game, replacing Stewart for Snowflake for her defense. Akofli in trouble, gets it in to Cindy Ginny. Tuba City needs a three-point basket. Under the basket. Well, they're going to settle for two. Akofli makes a shot with eight seconds left. Timeout taken. They did not stop the clock. There should be 8.8 .8 or something like that seconds remaining. Clock stopped with 6.9. There should be a, almost nine seconds remaining. Let's see what they do to adjust it. I'm interested in this. They're going to say 8.4. I think that's a. I think that's good. I think that's a good call by the official. So Tuba City will have to defend Snowflake's inbound. Just like this, remember, a foul will send Snowflake to the free throw line with two shots. Any foul that's committed, pretty much, with Snowflake. Now, if Snowflake catches it, and let's say they commit an offensive foul, they'll use here on this possession. Hadley Nichols is out there. Kinsey Brogan returns. Nicole Hips. <laughs> Natalie Carlisle. And Chloe Reedhead. Tuba City will defend with Natasha Coffley trying to defend Natalie Carlisle's inbound. Comes into Kinsey Brogan, got a fouler. Did not foul, got a fouler. And finally, the foul comes from Susan Yotomi on, on Natalie Carlisle. Two shots for Natalie on the way. Boy, precious time remaining. Four seconds burned off right there. Needed to get a foul quicker than that. Tried to, tried to on Brogan, but the foul not successful. So Tuba City's got to hope for, well, I mean, even if both shots go in, which the first one doesn't, Tuba City's still got a chance, but you've got to get the ball up the floor into shooting range in these final four and a half seconds. Make a shot. Tuba City can win it with a shot here, especially if this one does not go in. Carlisle missed them both. And that's going to go out of bounds. Tuba City's got, they're going to have to go the length of the floor. Hold on, hold on, a whistle. And they're going to call a, a foul or a lane violation. I, I think it's a lane violation that gives Natalie Carlisle one more free throw. I'm not sure it matters a whole lot. She missed it anyway. Rebound. Tuba City timeout. And they called that timeout with three seconds. The clock stopped with 2.7 seconds. We'll see if that's enough time for Tuba City to do something. Will they add a little time? They might add just like a half a second or something like that. And they're going to make it 3.0, 3.0 seconds instead of 2.7. I think they're going to add that. Well, they're going to add four tenths. So now it's 3.1 seconds remaining. That is enough time to get a shot off and win the game, which a shot would do. 39-38, Snowflake in front of Tuba City. What a finish we've got for you to this girls game. Remember that between games, we stop this broadcast, start a whole new one, okay? Start a new broadcast on the Sports Zone's YouTube channel for the boys game. We will talk to the victorious head coach. We might not talk to Snowflake's head coach, Mike Brogan. So keep that in mind, Derek. We'll talk to the player of the game, but Snowflake wins. But Coach Brogan's got a, I mean, he's sick. He does not feel well, and I'm, I'm serious. I, I'm not sure I want to get him on the microphone, get him in proximity over here. I think if, if Snowflake wins, we're going to let Coach Brogan, we're going to let him uh, chill, decompress, and otherwise keep his distance because he, he's pretty sick right now. Meanwhile, the action, that's what we're here for. 3.1 seconds left, Tuba City to inbound the ball. They've got the length of the floor to go. They're down by one. Long pass in. Tipped by Snowflake. Up the floor. Turn around. Had the shot to Susan Yotomi. But it didn't go in, and Snowflake prevails. They have the look. They had the chance. Pretty well diagnosed. Beat the Snowflake defense. And it was a good, it was good defense. But it ends up Snowflake's win tonight at Tuba City. What a game. Congratulations to the Lady Lobos. The win makes them 11 and 3 on the season. Tuba City drops to 6 and 4 overall. And who will be the Sports Zone's player of the game here in this one tonight? Who might it be? Well, I think you look down the list. I mean, I like Hadley Nichols a lot. Uh, she actually led the team in scoring with nine. Raya Denhalter off the bench also with nine points. And they both played great defense. I think Hadley overall had the stronger defensive performance and 
I, I, my vote is Hadley Nichols, jersey number one there, Snowflake. The uh, Lady Lobos, and we'll see what the production team comes up with and see if they have any any other thoughts on that one. Uh, it wasn't just the high point performance, but the great defense. So the votes are tallied, and it's Hadley Nichols. Adelie Nichols, the Sports Zone's player of the game tonight. She led the team in scoring. She played some pretty stout defense, I can tell you that. Congratulations to Snowflake on coming in here to Tuba City. And kind of a tough place to get a win, and that's exactly what they did. Sorry, coach, don't want to talk to you, man. You're, you're too sick. Mike Brogan giving us the thumbs up. I don't know if that's a real thumbs up or not, but uh, he's been a little under the weather, and we're going to let him uh, veg, veg out over there. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. All right, very good. Welcome into Tuba City, everybody. Tonight's broadcast of Northland Basketball, and the Snowflake Lady Lobos come from behind in this one. They get a second-half lead and hold on for dear life to get a 39-38 to victory over the Tuba City Warriors in this one tonight. Welcome in, Floyd Simmons here, courtside, and Northland Basketball is brought to you by Choice NTUA Wireless. Time to speak to our Sports Zone Player of the Game, and that's brought to you by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. And I'm going to just award the T-shirt right at the beginning to, Thank you. to Hadley Nichols. <laughs> Thank you. There it is, Hadley. How do you how do you like that T-shirt? I love it. High quality <laughs> material. Yeah. You're going to love that thing. Thank you to White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Hadley, great game. Congratulations Thank on the you. win. Thank you. Well, your team came in. It's a long drive yeah. and uh, rewarded with the effort. And to me, it was your defense. It was the team's defense. It's yes. the reason you're sp speaking to us now. I thought you had perhaps the best defensive game for the team out there Thank you. in addition to leading the team and scoring with nine points. Thank you. Uh, can you tell me about the, the mental approach to your team in that second half? Um, we just knew we had to come out and play hard. We know we know what we can do, and we knew we weren't playing our best in the first half, and so we knew that if we put defensive pressure that our offense would just flow, and so that's exactly what we did. Kind of the uh, same story that everybody, all these coaches that we talked to, they all say the same thing. It starts on the defense, yeah, doesn't it? it really does. And with your team, that defense was pretty stout. You were there at the end. They put uh, Taylor Hancock on the floor for her defense at the end. Kinsey came back in. Is that your best defensive group? What yeah, do you think? yeah, it is. We definitely have some girls who are stronger in defense and stronger in offense. So. Right, Raya Denhalter is one of those as well, yeah. isn't she? Mm -hmm. Man, she was flying around today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you What do you say about the team as a whole? Maybe you want to mention a couple of players you thought that also played well tonight for the um, team. Oh, I have to think. I feel like I don't think anyone really. I feel like we all contributed. We all did our jobs, and so we all just we got done what we needed to get done, and so. Yeah. Hey, listen, your team is 11 and three. Yeah. That's a great start. Yeah. I mean, that's a start that anybody would want out there, except except the Sholo Cougars. They're yeah. like 17 and all. They maybe they wouldn't say that, but <laughs> but everybody else wants that that yeah. uh, that 11 and three mark. Are you pretty proud of the team? Yeah, I am. We've yep. come a long way. Yep. Is this going to be a nice Christmas gift to receive, traveling yeah. all the way to Tuba? Yep. Mm -hmm. Go home with a win? Yeah, it's right. awesome. Hadley, great job tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy the T-shirt. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. You too. All right. Hadley Nichols, our Sports Zone's player of the game. It's presented by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Nice road win for the Snowflake Lady Lobos. How about the 3A East making their presence felt all around the state? And uh, sending, really sending notice out there to, to, to all the teams, including the 3A North, that they are here and they're ready. They're ready to ball it up, especially when it comes to talking about the postseason, the playoffs. You got Snowflake playing so well. Winslow is always going to be tough. The uh, the Alcha State Lady Falcons are defending state champions. Yes, they lost to, to Blue Ridge last night, but defending state champions with a lot of talent. And I recognize they're not in the 3A East region. They're part of the North, but hey, listen, they're a White Mountains team. And all these uh, White Mountains teams are, are, are outstanding this year. Blue Ridge, with the win over Alcha State yesterday, is serving notice out there. They're great, and they're going to be tough. So between the East and the North, boy, I tell you, the basketball, just doesn't get better, does it? You can't find better basketball than those East teams and these North teams, Tuba City.
Window Rock, Monument Valley, Chin Lee, Ganado, and the Page Lady Sand Devils. It's going to be a fun month of January on the way for us here at the Sports Zone as we bring you Northland basketball. And we thank Choice and TUA Wireless for their partnership, making it possible for us. You should see that schedule coming up. Maybe we'll publish it somewhere, but it is a it is a, a, a crazy month of January on the way at the Sports Zone. We will be all over Northern Arizona with our patented basketball coverage led by guys like our producer, Derek Simmons. Let's hit that, let's hit that close. Derek Simmons, our technical director, Julio Kay, and tonight on camera, Leonard Keone. For the entire group, Floyd Simmons saying, God bless you, Merry Christmas. Join us for the boys game in just a moment right here from Tuba City, Northland Basketball, presented by Choice, NTUA Wireless.